it is now possible to bring extinct animals back through gene editing techniques. However, could there be a case wherein an animal that might be brought back from extinction might do may do more harm to the earth than good? If yes, was it worth it to have wiped out those animals in the past by humans from our planet in the first place? Okay, it is now possible. So the, so the assumption that is made here, the assertion that's made here is that it's now possible to bring extinct animals back through gene editing techniques. Uh, I'm not sure it's still possible. We are, we are yet at that stage. I can't think of a single extinct animal that has been brought back thus far. Thus far. We do have uh, gene editing techniques. The, the technology is is getting better every few years. We have something called CRISPR that you can use to uh, edit individual genes in your inside a genome. Um, and we do have, uh, so we could, and we, we do have the technique of cloning. So we have cloned various animals uh, like Dolly the, Dolly the sheep and various other species perhaps. I hope it's not been, been done to humans because that would be weird and unethical most likely. So yeah, we have all this entire assortment of gene editing, etc. techniques. And I would say theoretically it would be possible to bring back, let's say, a mammoth back to life. A mammoth is an extinct species of, of elephant. And that species went extinct about 10,000 years before today. So the mammoths coexisted with humans. It's it's not too long ago. It's just 10,000 years. It's from, from an evolutionary perspective, it's yesterday. It's last evening, right? So, and we find uh, preserved mammoths all the time in the permafrost in Siberia, in North America. Just recently I saw on Twitter, somebody discovered a baby mammoth that was perfectly preserved in the ice. Of course, its DNA would be available. Yeah. Of course, it would be most likely possible to use the various uh, genetic techniques to, to, to bring back, to give birth, to, to, to fertilize an egg with that sort, of, uh, that sort of DNA. Yeah. Or take a fertilized egg, modify its, its DNA profile, add the, the mammoth genetics into it, and then implant that fertilized egg into a female elephant. And that female elephant would most likely give birth to a live mammoth, which would bring the species back from extinction. It is possible. Nobody's done it thus far. Uh, for the past 20, 30 years, Japanese scientists have been investigating that. I'm not sure how far that went, but I think it would be possible today. So if let's say we bring the mammoth back from extinction. Let's, we, let's say we bring the dodo back from extinction. These species lived until very recently. I don't think they would do any harm to the planet. Right? Uh, so certain species, if you bring them back from extinction, they would just fit into the world properly, as long as the, these are species that lived until reasonably recently. The mammoth is a good example, about 10,000 years. Let's say you find a way of bringing dinosaurs back to life, like in the Jurassic Park movies. That would be uh, that would be out of place in today's world, because the non-avian dinosaurs were wiped out they died out about 66 million years before today in the Chicxulub impact event. The avian dinosaurs survived. They are all around us. Uh, so let's say, you know, what's happened recently. I, I don't know why this news has all has fallen off everyone's radar. A few years ago, people discovered uh, a T-Rex bone, a femur, the thigh bone of a T-Rex. Uh, it was entombed, it was encased in rock. Yeah, it's like, I don't know how many million years old. It is definitely more than 66 million years old. And for some reason, the, the, that uh, rock broke. And what they discovered was tissue. You know, un, uh, it was liquid tissue with, with uh, uh, what looked like the remains of uh, blood vessels, even blood cells, etc. inside the T-Rex fossil, thigh bone, femur. Yeah. So if that survived all these millions of years, it, it is possible that you may be able to extract some DNA out of it. Now that has been hushed up, it looks like. And it's I, there were multiple cases of this sort of thing happening. So it is possible that DNA could be extracted from such uh, fossils that still contain uh, intact or near intact dinosaur tissue, right? And then even if some bits of the DNA are missing, you could uh, 
so the t the t rex was a was essentially a giant bird right the tyrannosaurus rex rex it was a massive giant bird dinosaurs and birds are essentially the same thing so you could use chicken dna to fill in the gaps in the t rex uh, genome whatever the gaps uh, whatever is missing and then you could try and uh, recreate the species it is possible that you may be able to possible maybe in the next 10 20 years you may be able to do that you do that will that species that you are recreating will it fit back into the world like the mammoths would the mammoths lived until recently the di- the world the dinosaurs lived in no longer exists so that would possibly cause problems what would they eat where would they fit into the evolutionary uh, into the environmental food chain for instance right because they have been missing for 66 plus million years so certain species if you bring them back would possibly not fit into the present uh, ecological environmental scenario they could possibly do more harm than good there may be certain genetic aspects that would that could spread to other animals and cause problems you know if you look at the human genome there's a lot of viral dna in our genome and we don't know why it's there but it's there and similarly it's possible with dinosaurs and, and, and other species also there could be some viral components to their dna to the genome now could that cause problems if you bring it back and set it free in the environment possibly so one has to be very careful when you when one is playing god you you cannot start playing god and start bringing extinct species to life without considering it very carefully so that's what i have to say you bring back certain species like recently extinct species to to life again it should not cause too many problems hopefully but you bring back older species to life it could upset uh the ecological balance and cause problems